So how, how did you overcome that voice? Because changing that mental pattern is what allowed you to then, once you change that, it was like a ship taken off, right? Yeah, totally, man. It's, um, it's a complete reprogram. You have to completely reprogram whatever, take whatever age you are times however many days in a year times however many hours in a day times however many minutes in an hour times however many seconds in a minute. And that will tell you how many times, how many inputs that you've accumulated over your lifetime. You, you've been programming your thought processes from the instant you were born every second of every day. And so the only way I could break out of that is I now had to start consuming ridiculous amounts of content to try to reprogram the 30 years of nonsense that I had plugged in my brain. And so I, the, I could be found at any given time and still to this day can be found at any given time with an audible in my ear, a video in my ear, Maxwell, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, Les, Tom, or Les Brown, um, you know, Nick, uh, uh, you know, all the, all the guys, all the, the John Pro or the Bob Proctors and uh, uh, Jim Rohn's and, and just all of them, dude, Brene Brown, you name it, dude. I'm always seeking content and it's just reprogramming. That's all it is. 30 minutes a day. At first for me, it was like hours a day, man. I'd sit there and absorb for like four hours. Just like now I got like eight kids. So I'm lucky if I get like, you know, four <laughs> minutes, but uh, it, it literally, I had to reprogram everything that I thought I knew about myself, the universe, spirituality, uh, energy, all of that stuff, financial intelligence, emotional intelligence, subconscious mind, conscious mind, uh, all of it, man. I, I became a student. And luckily we live in, in such an incredible time where we have access to all of this stuff for free, dude. Like as long as you got an internet connection, you can tap into the minds of the most brilliant human beings on the face of the planet. And, uh, and so, yeah, so that's a awesome. crash course, crash course in mind reprogramming. <laughs> was, uh, was there one or two, like when you got started, I know you said you're consuming hours. I myself, like I got, somebody gave me a copy of Tony Robbins, personal power Two, yeah. And I would just go for walks and listen to it. Sure. Um, I was, I didn't have a job at the time. I like, I quit my job managing a restaurant because I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do, but I didn't know what it was. I literally just would go for like four hour walks. What? So that one sticks out to me and Jim Rohn. Those are the two that I always go back to. What, what, if like, what's the one that you remember being like, Oh man, that's like gold. Dude, there's a hundred. <laughs> there, like, I really love it. Like I'm a, I'm a junkie dude. I'm addicted. I love it. Um, there are some books that I go back and read multiple times a year uh, since I started this journey. And the reason I do that, I, I read a quote once that said, rereading a book, the words on the page don't ever change, but your perspective of them does, right? And that's so true. So powerful. I can reread the same books and I get something new out of it every single time. So I kind of went down this like weird little journey, right? I, be I believe that our frequencies, I understand now that our frequencies, the things we focus on, the things that we believe ultimately attract what we need or what can be helpful to break us through that, right? I do, I, I totally believe that now. And so when I was first getting going and I was still kind of like the party dude and I was still kind of like a little, maybe um, uh, still a little bit of a victim mindset still, I used to listen to uh, like a bunch of Les Brown, right? Les Brown was like born on a born on you know born on the floor of an abandoned building giving up on the first day of my life i've fought every minute that life will be a struggle right less is like but there's greatness in you you know and and i really needed that for a long period of time so i read a lot of Les brown books and, and so on and so forth then i kind of moved to eric thomas you know eric thomas the et the hip-hop preacher and he's a little more 
he's a little more young and strappy and cool and like, let's go fight, right? Like, Les Brown was like, you're going to be okay. And then Eric Thomas is like, we're going to make it okay. We're going to go out there and tackle the world. And I needed that during that season, you know? And then I kind of moved on from there and I went to this thing called, uh, I'm sure you know, you know, The Secret with Bob Proctor. Oh, yeah. And I learned about the law of attraction and that was huge for me. Are you looking to scale your business but trying to figure out how to get your message across? Well, go to storyselling.how to grab my free course that will show you how to discover everything that you need to build your business through stories. These stories work whether it's in social media, email, or public speaking. There are five core stories that you'll learn. You'll be able to use all of them by the time you're done with this course. Again, that is storyselling.how. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to tune in next time.